Genital herpes. What is that? It sounds scary. Could I potentially have it? What are the symptoms? How can it be averted? Well, these are the questions that we answer on My Health Spot. Hello, my name is Dr. Jorge Sanchez. I'm a family medicine board certified physician, and today we're gonna to talk about genital herpes. So what is genital herpes? Well, it's a very common SCD caused by a herpes simplex virus known as HSV. The important thing to know is that there are two types of the virus. There's type one and type two. Type two is generally what's responsible for what we know as genital herpes, whereas type one is the less scary um, type of virus that causes cold sores on the mouth. Um, and although I'll say that it is not as common for type one to cause genital herpes as type two, um, but type one can still cause genital ulcers and genital herpes as well. Now, one in five adults in the United States are infected, but 70 to 90% do not even know that they have the illness. Many people have the virus and have no symptoms and may be undiagnosed uh, for a long time, but they are still infectious during that time. Most people do not have flare-ups for several years. Outbreaks become, do become less common over time and can be managed with medications really well. Again, the virus can spread when there are no ulcers or outbreaks, and th for that reason, condoms are encouraged to, to be used every time to prevent spread. In one study, about 70% of new cases occurred in the absence of outbreaks in their partner. What are the symptoms of herpes outbreak? Well, it really depends if it's your first outbreak or your flare-up. Now, in your first outbreak, it's generally the worst and is the most severe during that time. More severe actually in women than in men, it occurs within maybe a few weeks after contact with the virus. Now, in women, for the first outbreak, it does involve the vagina, the vulva, which is the tissue or the lips around the vagina, the buttocks, anus, as well as thighs. And in men, it involves the penis, scrotum, anus, buttocks, and also thighs as well. Now, these types of blisters usually are very, very painful. And they'll start off as blisters and little bumps that uh, look like there's just a little blister and then over time will turn into an ulcer. Those are very typical. Another thing is that these blisters tend to be grouped in little patches and that's very typical for um, uh, herpes. Now both the blisters and the ulcers are both painful. Blisters on the penis uh, or the outer skin of the vagina may crust over and heal with time. They are very tender uh, to touch and can be associated with swollen lymph nodes uh, surrounding the area and then can be accompanied with flu-like symptoms including joint pain, fever, and headache. It can also be very painful to urinate as well. Now after the in initial infection, the virus will travel through the nerve to the base of the nerve in the spine and lay dormant for decades. Flare-ups can occur where the virus travels through the nerve back to the surface of the skin and tends to be more mild than the initial outbreak. Herpes simplex virus type 2 uh, will have more outbreaks than herpes simplex virus type 1. So type 2, you'll see outbreaks more often than type 1. It occurs in the same area typically in the skin, but can choose another nerve and show up in another area of the skin at times. Now, it may be preceded by itching, tingling, or pain, and typically those are the signs that you'll feel before an outbreak comes, and the triggers can be include some types of illnesses like a cough or a cold, as well as stress, sunlight, and fatigue, as well as menstrual periods could also contribute to flare-ups. So when did I get infected with herpes? The first time someone notices signs may not actually be the true initial outbreak. It is possible that the initial outbreak was not obvious. The second outbreak may take several years to show up. It is very difficult to know exactly when the virus was contracted, and your current sexual partner may not be the source. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. Be sure to come next week when we talk about how to treat herpes and as well as the diagnosis. Now, if you want to support 
My Help Spot, be sure to support a cause. We are associated with Unbound Now. They are an organization that seeks to release women from sex slavery and also from trafficking and, and just from all types of trafficking and slavery. So be sure to go to the website called unboundnow.org and be sure to become more educated on the topic, find out where your local chapter is, and also be sure to give a donation uh, because that will make a big difference. So thanks for coming. I'll see you next week.